it's been a long time coming. But on this, what they see as their Independence Day, the Kurds said goodbye to the rest of Iraq in writing. Yes, for independence. A big majority will have ticked the yes box, voting for the Kurdish dream of nationhood. There was almost a party atmosphere in polling stations, many wearing national costumes, everybody taking pride in dipping their index finger in ink to prove they'd been here on this day. Today we party, very, 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 very party. Very happy, very happy. Kurdish enthusiasm for independence on show at this huge weekend rally is, however, not shared by the international community. The UN, US and UK were among those who tried to talk the Kurds out of this vote, fearing it will just create another headache the Middle East doesn't need. The Americans and others have tried to dilute the significance of this referendum by saying it's non-binding. What they mean is that there will be no immediate declaration of independence. The Kurds say there will have to be negotiations with Baghdad before they break away, but Baghdad says that will never happen, and that does not bode well. The Kurds have always felt persecuted inside Iraq. Saddam Hussein's campaign of genocide included poisonous gas. In the 90s, to escape his death squads, the Kurds had to flee into the mountains. Having sided with us in both Gulf Wars, the Kurds were, more recently, our staunch allies in the fight against Islamic State. It's no wonder many here are disappointed by US and UK opposition to their quest for statehood. I am extremely shocked. I thought that the first country that would support us is going to be the United States because we've fought so many wars for them. This year saw Kurdish fighters in the vanguard of the victory over IS. Their tails are up. They feel now is the time to go it alone. This is a binding referendum. Uh, when the votes are cast, it doesn't mean immediate independence. But there's no turning back. The end result is that there will be an independent Kurdistan. The Iraqi government, the Turks and the Iranians are threatening consequences and a war of independence may be looming. But the world will find Kurdish democracy, as expressed today, hard to ignore. They sense history at their fingertips. John Irvine, News at 10, Iraqi Kurdistan.